You know what he said? He said, the only thing that burns in hell is the part of you that won't let go of your life. Your memories, your attachments, they burn them all away. But they're not punishing you, he said. They're freeing your soul. Relax. <clears throat> so the way he sees it, if you're frightened of dying and, and you're holding on, you'll see devils tearing your life away. But if you've made your peace, then the devils are really angels freeing you from the earth. It's just a matter of how you look at it, that's all. All right. I'm in Poland now, apparently. This is basically day one, essentially, of Poland, of waking up in Poland and existing within Poland and moving across Poland. And uh, it's not been a great day, to be honest. I got across the border about, you know, in the evening last night, 8 o'clock or something like this into the border town and uh, yeah I had to push to get into Poland 60 kilometers which is more than I usually do and um, it was a big day and I wasn't willing to really keep pushing to get outside of the town to find a suitable place to camp or like a opt more so optimal place to camp and so I ended up camping in probably the most sort of marginal, grim, hobo type vibe place that I've camped yet on this uh, quest. Um, and that was sort of like in this intermediary space between the train tracks and the parking lot of a grocery store and also they have a highway. Um, it's kind of just like this dirt yard, which like a lot of other, I could see from the evidence that was littered about, like frequented by, I guess, similar folks as myself, uh, degenerate outcasts of society. You know, there were vodka bottles everywhere and, you know, like, discarded underwear from people just, I guess, fucking in the bushes and toilet paper from people taking impromptu shits and all of this business. Um, the first place I was, I kind of like, uh, tentatively selected to camp in was like, basically in like a fuck place, like a fuck, like a fuck stroke, shit stroke, uh, drug taking place and I thought like ah, it's come on come on man like you can you can do better than this just push on a little more and you'll find somewhere that's like marginally more suitable you don't have to like descend to these depths of deprivation and horror just yet and so I walked uh, I don't know a couple more meters across the yard and I just found some an empty patch of dirt, and uh, I was uh, satisfied, I guess you could say, with that. Uh, and people walking past as I was setting up were like, I mean, at this point, I'm like three weeks deep into this madness, and I just don't give a fuck anymore. If people see me illegally setting up my t my tent, it's like, come on, like I, I I'm not. It's a victimless crime, essentially. I'm just some fucking outcast reject misfit just trying to like abide in this realm against my will essentially just leave me alone and i'll leave you alone i'm not trying to cause any trouble and uh yeah i mean ultimately people are more scared of me i suppose than i am of them in the final uh, sort of analysis <sighs> if i'm being completely rational about this but yeah i'm kind of in many ways beyond that at this point. I'm very like I'm gonna I'm gonna place as an introduction the uh 
a scene from Jacob's Ladder that I particularly like, actually. Sort of, I was contemplating it a great deal before I began this, and it's very much... Uh, um, kind of, uh, kind of illuminates my sort of uh, rationale or whatever for for doing this, and just where I'm at in in life right now. Um, and it's so interesting, actually, just to go off topic a little. I mean, it's all it's all related, but just to go off of the main thread for a second. Um, so interesting when you finally, or one finally, make steps to undo the imposition to harken back to the initial uh, recording of this series, I suppose. Um, to live in alignment with one's true will um things start to happen things people interact with you indifferently and events align in such a way as to be more uh, proprietors to you um and advantageous it's very interesting i think it's that uh Goethe, i think it's Goethe. the quote is attributed to where it's like fortune favors the bold or something like this and, um, yeah, and like, uh, it's kind of cringe and edge lordy, but like another thing that springs to mind is just like, there's nothing more dangerous than a man who has nothing left to lose. And also like, uh, yeah, when you have nothing left to lose, it's like anything good that happens to you is like so much more good because the expectation is that just you're going to descend into shit but yet something's consistently presents itself to pull you up in reference to a book club song actually I, I posted a while ago uh, called Empty Handed it's this uh uh, repeating lyric where it's like uh, something keeps pulling me up something keeps pulling me up what is that thing? I don't know is it God? is it some higher version of myself that from the future or something like this and like the or like a, like a Gary or something Grin cited character from like referencing Ubik I don't know, I don't know, guardian angel, blah, 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 all this shit, who knows, who knows. And yeah, I'm having some more drinks tonight, it's just, uh, because I'm in a hotel, so it feels like, uh, I don't know, that's like my autistic brain basically making habits of things, making routines out of things. So I drank in a hotel once on this trip and so like I just associate that with being in a hotel in the context of this trip. It's drinking alcohol. Um, it's a way to order and make sense of reality. A reality that is incredibly chaotic and uh, punitive yeah. and yet simultaneously I recognize the utter fellacious nature of such that it, that's just all a, a con, it's a crutch because some other part of me is residing within this complete mystery this infallibility this incomprehensibility But yeah, where was I? Poland. Arriving in Poland. Poland is very different to Germany, and it was very different immediately. Crossing over the Oder River, I believe it's called, or the Uda, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
I'm shit with languages. Um, very different immediately, very like different feeling, very everything's more in a state of disrepair, chaotic. There's feral animals everywhere, like I saw so much roadkill when I was walking along today. Dead cats as well, like it's very rare that in um, Western European countries you see just what are typically thought of as domesticated animals um, manifesting as roadkill. Um, very rare. So I guess I'm not in Western Europe anymore. I'm in technically Central Europe, but I, I think most commonly people think of Poland as being Eastern European. And I guess it is kind of. It's it's more similar to Eastern Europe than it is to Western Europe. For, that's for sure. Um, and I like it, to be honest, actually. I was getting very sick of the Western European thing, particularly the whole Germanic thing. I don't like it. G G Germanic culture feels like neurosis, essentially. It's like insecurity, clinging. It's uh, the Zafian anchorings just turned up to full power. But here it feels more like just kind of like raw existence. It's second world type vibe. And um, yeah, it's approaching just, it's closer to reality. And uh, I like that. Even though I don't like reality, I like the truth. So um, being closer to that is uh, even if it's uncomfortable, it's more uh, simultaneously more satisfying, I guess, more comforting, I don't know. I am a masochist, as you may know. But yeah, I didn't cover much ground today because of how shit I slept last night in this train yard. I slept very badly, didn't go to sleep until it was actually light at about... 4.30 and then there was some massive thunderstorm, just really intense rain and thunder um, which kept waking me up and then that abated and the sun came out at about 7.30 or something and then it began to get really, really insanely hot in the tent, like actually like you know, like people say like oh, it was like a sauna in there, but like this was literally like a sauna, like no joke, I was profusely sweating as if I were in fact in a sauna and so at like 8.30 or something I just had to just uh, start packing up because it was like, it was impossible to be in there and uh, so yeah well like less than four hours of broken sleep basically um, so today was just hard it was kind of a write off to be honest I, I don't know how many kilometers I covered but it can't be more than 20 or 25 but uh yeah in any case um i have sort of a deadline now to be done to, to be arriving in warsaw so i know that um you know this has a a time frame now so whether or not i make it to warsaw on foot or by bus my um my mind my impatient mind my anxious uh Impulsive mind knows that now there's a, a finishing point to this, which, at, you know, a lot of the time it's now feeling very futile and um, just silly. Yeah, it felt like that very much so yesterday when I was trying to get out of Germany. It was a horrible road that I had to walk on with no shoulder, rain, very heavy traffic. Um, with trucks and stuff like this and it was just not pleasant people blaring their horns at me and not nice really I thought it was going to be a very chill walk but it wasn't <laughs> it was probably one of the hardest days in so far and it's just yeah the camping just makes it all so much worse so, um, oh yeah, yeah, I'm in a hotel, I think I already said that, 
kind of realize that like yeah like i kind of need to just like take a night tonight and i can kind of afford to actually because poland is quite a bit cheaper than germany um yeah and so i'm doing that i'm indulging in a hotel and um probably will indulge in at least probably two more in like the next 10 days of this march to Warsaw to f the hiatus point of this thing or maybe even the culmination I don't know I really don't know we'll see but in any case it's the end of this particular period at least yeah we'll say that um yeah I guess I'll I'll talk about that more at some point but um yeah suffice it to say for now it's 10 days from now it's uh this thing is is culminating irrespective of whether or not I've made it to Warsaw on foot I will be in Warsaw one way or another yeah so um yeah I think that's all I have to say for now it's um yeah, for anyone that's actually interested in what day it is, I don't think I mentioned. It's the 21st of June, uh, a Wednesday, I believe it is. So it's been a few days since I actually recorded anything, because I'm just too tired, too busy, and not finding anything particularly interesting or noteworthy to mention. Yeah, but um, now that I'm in Poland and... Blah, 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 blah. I figured I'd just make this and uh, put it out there for the, again, one or two people that are interested and are invested in this. Okay.